Yo, 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 what is up, my fellow YouTubers? It's Sari from the Vario coming back at you with another video for your butt. And today, we're gonna talk about sex, baby. Alright, so we're gonna start off with the 80s binders today 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. There's 86, 87, 88, and 89. You so fine. You guys better know what my favorite car from the 89 set is. Okay, Mr. Boone, you're up. So this is my 1980 card set of tops album. Those are the highlights, and these are what the base looked like. Check out that creepy Cubs team car with all those floating heads. This is what the future stars looked like back then. And when you want to talk about the best card in the set, no one's going to argue that it's the Ricky Henderson rookie. What do you guys think is the best card in the 1980 set? So next is the 81 tops. You're up, Ozzy. The wizard. So I actually have this one in a basketball binder. Uh, these were five bucks, man. The binders with the pages. So I just kept buying two and putting sets in it. You can see it starts off with the leaders cards. And these are what the base look like. Pete Lacock. While the set doesn't have any huge notable rookies, you might argue that the best card is the Fernando Valenzuela and Mike Socia rookie with that dude Jack Perconte. Or even the Kirk Gibson rookie. But if you want to talk monetary value, the Ricky Henderson second year is the most valuable card in this set. So now we come up to 80 do what you do. What's up, Fernando? You're up. So this is the album I have my 82 in. It's all taped up, man. This is a this album's in pretty bad shape. You can see it starts off with the highlights. And these are what the base look like. These are what the future stars look like. And uh, if you want my opinion, this is probably the best card from the 82 set. So here we got the 83 set. Come on, Frankie. You're up. Voila! So this is the album that I have this one in. The 83 starts off with the record breakers with Steve Big Baloney. So 83 is stacked with rookies. Pick your best card. Ryan Sandberg. Tony Gwynn. And the Chicken Man, Wade Boggs. So we're up to 84. Come on, Mike Smith. You're up. Okay, so this is the album that I have my 84 in. And so it starts off with the highlights. And I don't and the best card is on the very first page. And I don't think anybody will argue with that the best card is Gary Lucas. Hey tall boy. I mean Don Maddenly. Easily the best card in this set. What do you think? All right, so now we're up to 85 tops. Come on, Doc, you're up. Okay, guys, so this is my 85 binder. Another one of those basketball binders that I was buying for five bucks each with the pages, which was an incredible deal. So you can see it starts off with the record breakers. And the best card in this set, man, well, you have tons to choose from because this one is loaded with rookies, including Brett Saberhagen, The Rocket, Roger Clemens, and the Olympic rookie card of Mark McGuire. And the 85 Tops rookie of Kirby Paquet. And these are what the All-Star cards look like. And now we got the 86 Tops coming up. Come on, Willie. You're up, McGee. So here's the 86 um, binder. And 86, man, really had nothing going to... Didn't have much going on for it. You might argue the best card... Was the number one Pete Rose or the second year Clemens? I don't know. What do you think is the best card from the 86 tops? Or maybe even the Lenny Dykstra rookie? I don't know. What do you think? Next is the 87 tops. What's up, Barry Larkin? You're up. So, this is my cover, my binder for the 87 tops. The record breakers. You can see the guy setting records back then. This is what the base looked like. A lot of cards to choose from. What do you think is the best card here? The 87 Future Stars, Bo Jackson, huh? Jamie Moyer rookie, Mike Greenwell rookie, the Ruben Sierra rookie, but a lot of people are going to go with the Barry Bonds rookie. And these are what those all-star cards look like. Smile! So next is 1988. You're up, Oral, the Bulldog. So this is my binder of 88. <clears throat> you can see the record breakers. Now these had errors. 
Where on the front right here, it would say like the record they broke. I guess it was like something they were going to do, but they never did. And these are what the base looked like. So Outlighter had error cards in this year, which is when I used to think by 88, they started making error cards on purpose. Not too many notable cards. Maybe the Ken Caminiti rookie? I don't know. But I'll go with the Tom Glavin rookie. And Keith Comstock, that's also an error. Oops. And then like they try to go old school with their all-star cards. The turn back the clocks. The McGuire trophy was cool too. What you talking about, man? This ain't airbrushed. So what's your favorite car from the 88? So last but not least, the 89. What's up, Wally? You're up. It's your world. So this is it. <clears throat> the 89. This is how it starts off with the record breakers before you get to the base cards. Pretty neat. So this is what the all-star cards look like. It's pretty cool how they did it like the old days. Uh, the National League was red. And, I mean the American League was red. And the National League was blue. <gasps> Dude I'm missing a card. What the hell? Oh man I'll get to that later. But you guys should know what my favorite card is. In this whole set. This one's like probably the coolest card. Has a cool ass Sandy Alomar future star. Maybe your favorite card is the White Sox number one draft pick, Robin Ventura. What's up, Nolan Ryan? It's got the turn back the clocks. Maybe your favorite card is the Randy Johnson rookie. This was a hot one to get back then, Jim Abbott. The Mark Grace rookie cup. Ew, gross. Your favorite card might even be the Gary Sheffield rookie. The Walt Weiss was sweet. Ron Gant. Man, 89 was just like today. Every rookie was expected to be big. But this was the card, man, that everybody wanted, man. Future star Greg Jeffries. Pew, pew, pew. Greg Olson. Steve Avery. Ellis Burks. But my favorite card is the Steve Jelts, baby, number 707. Last card. And this is the actual card. This is the actual set I put together in 89, my first set. I ever completed man and that Steve Jeltz was the last card I needed man every time I bought a pack I just wanted a Steve Jeltz I just wanted a Steve Jeltz and when I got it I was the happiest guy in the world so that's my favorite card from 89 set so thanks for watching love the hobby people and keep collecting baseball cards forever I said this is the 80s runs for Donruss this is the 80s runs for Fleer. Score Baseball. And Upper Deck. Thanks for watching guys. Wash your hands. You filthy animals. <laughs>